Well, joining us on Skype from Washington is Reggie Littlejohn, president of the Women's Rights Without Frontiers, an international coalition opposed to forced abortion and human trafficking in China. And Reggie, you were at the hearing. You heard the phone call. What was the what did Mr. Chan say and what was the atmosphere like? It must have been incredible to actually hear from him. It was incredible. I mean, I this is the fourth time I've testified before Congress, and I've testified in a number of other places. Never have I ever experienced anything like this before. It was an absolutely, I would call it almost a transcendent moment. We were there. The hearing was going as planned. Everybody was giving their prepared remarks. And then all of a sudden, this call comes through from Chen Guanchen himself. And I have been advocating for Chen's release for since 2008. Uh, and I've been doing it pretty much full time for two years. And it was extremely emotional for me to hear him live speaking to us directly, pleading with us to help him get out of China and come to safety in the United States. In your opinion, what did he sound like? Was he upbeat? What was his mood? It was a long conversation. I would say that it was at least 20 minutes. And I think that he went through a range of emotions. I think that there were times when he was pleading. And I think that there were times when he actually had like a little chuckle. Uh, he seemed very stable emotionally to me. He had all of his wits about him. He was thinking clearly. He understood his situation. And with everything summed up, he definitely feels that he and his wife and his family are in danger and that they have no choice but to come to the United States for safety, at least for the time being. And do you think that's going to happen? Because, of course, he's saying that, the, that China has reneged on its promise to um, look after him, to maintain his safety. Do you think he does have a chance to come to the United States? I think that there's a little opening, a little crack uh, with respect to the State Department. They have softened up on their stand in the last couple of days. They have very simply been defending their action of uh, basically escorting him out of the embassy and into this hospital. Uh, now they are saying that even if he might have originally said that he wanted to stay in China, that he, now he says he wants to come to America. And they're at least acknowledging that he's changed his position. And my hope is that they will change their position. Now, obviously, the fact that he is not in the embassy anymore complicates matters. But I think that uh, the United States having, I think, pretty seriously botched this situation uh, will, uh, that there will be less repercussions from trying to get Chen out of the hospital and back into the embassy and into the United States than simply uh, abandoning him at this juncture. Reggie Littlejohn, good to talk to you. Reggie Littlejohn from Women's Rights Without Frontiers. Thank you very much. Now, Sharanjit Sudan has pledged to cease hostilities with its neighbor, South Sudan.